Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 26th, 2023. Well, last week we had a little bit of bearishness in the market, but the volume was relatively low. No real technical damage was created in the chart. And on Friday, um, Thursday anyway, we tested the 50 day moving average here in the diamonds and just we're not able to push on through that on Friday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly, truly appreciate it. Hey, before we get going, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who attended the Right Way Options um, open house on Thursday and Friday last week. We had a great time. The market was a little bit oh, uncertain, and so there wasn't much for trading, but we did provide an awful lot of education that hopefully you found or will find to be useful in your trading. And just a reminder that if you didn't sign up for a trial membership, um, they are still available at that discounted price. I'll leave a link just below the title of the video if you want to check that out. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, as you can see, we've got a little bit of well, doggone it, we've just been stuck. Um, stuck below this trading range, and we continue to have trouble um, against that um, price resistance in the chart. But the good news is we're holding above this support level in the chart as well. So after a pullback, I would kind of be thinking that we might get a little bit of a relief rally here on this, unless there is some major negative data that comes our way but watching this right in here we've got a good little price support in here we're holding on the 50-day moving average in that chart so perhaps we can get a little bit of a relief back to the upside now that doesn't necessarily mean we rip all the way back or take off to new highs as a matter of fact i think we should be watching some of these um, resistance levels in the chart if those bulls find inspiration there is a bit of a resistance area as you can see right across there here in the market we've got some price action right through there that could provide a little bit of resistance to the upside. And if we can push through that, if the bulls can keep pushing, maybe right up into this area, it might be between somewhere between here and right in here, where we might find a little bit of that price resistance to prevent us on hot moving on higher. Now, keeping in mind, if we rally that much, that's a huge upside move in the market now if those bears were to come across some reason to remain uh, bearish and continue pushing lower well let's keep in mind that we could break down through that 50-day moving average we've got this support level right in here that well seems to be fairly substantial but if that were to break maybe we come down here and we test the lower side of these price action moves you can see right right in here right through there some of these price action levels in here might be the next level lower if those bears were to really push on through now taking a look at um, our SPY SPY nice little resting pullback we're removing some of that um, kind of overbought condition here and I want to remind everyone that remember markets can go in three directions we can move up we can move down and we can move sideways and there may be a reason why we might move into more of a sideways move and that's because we are entering a blackout period here for cor corporate buybacks and corporate conversations as they head toward their earnings so they'll be they'll be inhibited from buying up their own stock and continuing to fuel things higher here. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. There is that possibility as we move toward that next round of earnings coming up here, probably about three weeks, that we could rest here in the market without a whole lot of um, 
corporate inspiration to kind of keep things moving. Now, what we've got here is a very bullish situation in the market. This is a nice little resting pullback. Volume was relatively low last week. So no harm here technically in the chart. And if the bulls do find inspiration, I would suggest maybe a push right up into that area right there. Notice how we tie several of these candles together right here through that area. That would be the first upside um, opportunity, I think. And if we can push through that, well, then maybe we push up here where we kind of gapped lower and we test these wick highs in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration, well, once again, I'm gonna repeat this over from last week. Maybe we push down and we test this price support and that little area of support in those candles. And if they, that doesn't hold, then we push down here and maybe we're testing the trend in the chart. Now, keeping in mind, even if we push down in there, that we don't hurt the technicals at all. We're still a long ways away from our 50 day moving average here in the SPY. So it doesn't turn bearish if that were to occur. If we look at our QQQ, we are also extremely far away from our 50 day moving average still after this really light pullback in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ remained the strongest of the indexes last week. Notice that we're holding above this price support here in the chart. So if the bears were to continue to pr uh, find inspiration, I would look maybe for a press down there to test that support level in the chart. If the bulls were to find inspiration today, well, I'm going to look right in there as a little bit of upside price resistance. You can see we tried that on Thursday and kind of rejected it. If we can push through there, then maybe we're up here trying to fill that little gap in the chart and beyond that we're testing the resistance highs here in uh, the QQQ. If we look at our IWM, IWM had a little bit of a rough week last week, finally giving up this price support, but the good news is, is we didn't break down through this major price support in the chart. We'll wanna watch that pretty carefully here. Now, it's all lost here in IWM. Um, obviously, this is a very big resistance level in the chart, but I don't think all is lost just yet. If we were to draw a trend right up through here, Notice that uh, we may have a bit more of a flat trend in here. So if we were to continue to pull back or even to bounce around and rest here, I, I still think we have an opportunity to maybe pick up that upside trend in the QQQ. So let's take a look here. If the bulls were to find inspiration today, well, maybe a retest of that high right there. We tested that on Thursday and then rejected it. So watch that carefully. If they can push on through there, well, the big push would be right up into here to see if they can break back through that resistance in the chart. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well, I would be looking maybe for a break of this price support here in the chart. And if that does go, then we have, well, possibly a little bit of a painful pullback that could occur in the chart, maybe back down into this area here. You can see we've got some price support in here across that level. So that would be a pretty painful move if we were to move down in there. Perhaps we hold right at that gap break as well. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. Boy, I gotta tell you, our VIX is just absolutely nonsensical. Um, we had a rally, a little bit of a rally at the end of the day on Friday. And of course the VIX went up when we rallied. So it's almost like it's the opposite of what this uh, indicator used to be. When the market is going down, this is weakening. When the market is going up, it's strengthening. Very bizarre um, occurrences here in the VIX. But one thing I will say, when we're down here in these 13 handles, um, considering the uncertainty in the market in a rising rate environment, this would seem to smack as some pretty unbelievable um, complacency here in the market. And what that means is if something were to come out to really engage those bears, um, it could be a very painful situation for the bulls. I'm not saying that's going to occur, 
but that complacency in here does give me a bit of a concern and perhaps it's just the VIX has just completely lost its mind with the rise of the zero data expiration options trading and the high speculation that's going on in the market these days. Let's take a look at our T2122. While the VIX is disappointing me, T2122 rarely disappoints me. And you can see that we're pressing back down toward this bearish reversal zone here in the chart. When we've been overextended here for a period of time, it's not uncommon to see us pull back. So although we uh, pulled back a lot last week, just keep in mind, we haven't really finished this move. It is that possibility that we could kind of finish this move to the downside with a little surge of the bears. But I would be watching for sometime this week, some kind of a relief rally, even if not today. And we could see that reef, relief rally begin today. You could, it would be not unreasonable to see us pop back up into that area before we make this completed move to the downside, just kind of following that little downtrend right there in the chart. But if the bulls find inspiration today, we'll just notice we've opened up a big upside opportunity. Again, I would watch that median area in the chart as a potential resistance, but, um, and then just keep in mind that the bears still have an opportunity here. If we look at our T2108, well, our T2108, although we had tech stocks, uh, just a handful of tech stocks, trying to give us the impression that everything was a lot better than it really was, you can notice here our T2108 continued to fall on Friday, despite the rally that we saw in some of the big techs. And looking across here, you can see we've got a good price support in that chart. So nothing tragic has happened here. About 50% of the stocks holding above their 40-day uh, moving average, which puts us right in that situation. If we can find some bullish inspiration, I would look for that bounce off of there. If the bears continue to be inspired, then maybe we break that support. And then we start um, wondering about this trend, this little upside trend, if that's going to hold, maybe a little bit more worry would come into the market. If we take a little uh, look at our T2107, T2107 also pulled back. Um, and you can see we did break down through a little bit of price support in that chart. So a little bit more concern here, and that's that. You can see that in that small cap index IWM where we broke those support levels and pushing down toward those bigger levels of, of support. 43, 44% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average isn't terribly bearish. As a matter of fact, it's fairly common area uh, for IWM. But if we were to push back up, we wanna watch these resistance levels here in the chart as we push back up. If the bears were to continue to remain inspired, well, I would look for some tests down in this area here for some price support in the T2107. Uh, we take a look at our T2101. T2101 finally delivered a hook so we see that momentum that shifted just a little bit on Friday from the sell side, maybe to the little bit of buy side. Let's see if that buy side can follow through to the upside. So if you're a bull, there is a bit of a hope here that we're finally re uh, have that chance to relieve some of that selling pressure in the market. And that wouldn't be a big surprise after several days of selling. It's that uncertainty that we're still having to deal with here in the market. And unfortunately that uncertainty isn't gonna go away until we figure out what the FOMC is really going to do with rates. And this week, uh, last week we suffered from a real lack of data in the market. It's not gonna be the case this week. Uh, we're starting off uh, today being very, very light. We're going to get the Dallas Fed manufacturing. This has been a terribly bearish number. Last month, the number came in at tw a negative 29.1. We're looking at that increasing just a little bit or improving just a little bit to a negative 25 reading. So not exactly a bullish situation on the manufacturing front if that were the number, but watch that closely here today. Manufacturing is certainly showing weakness here overall in the country. And then we've got some bond auctions here um, that we'll wanna be paying attention to today. Other than that, that's about all there is on the economic calendar. However, we're probably going to be quickly focused here on 
what's going to happen with this durable goods number and consensus right now is suggesting that durable goods is going to go negative here tomorrow so kind of keep that in mind we've got case shiller we've got consumer confidence new home sales we get the richmond fed manufacturing number uh coming in there as well and of course uh home price index international trading goods will be on wednesday retail inventories and wholesale inventories we've got jerome powell once again out there speaking on tuesday petroleum status numbers and some bond auctions gdp will be coming in on thursday we know that's a potential market moving uh, jobless claims pending home sales and natural gas fed balance sheet and then on friday we've got personal incomes and outlays chicago pmi and consumer sentiment will likely be the likely movers in the market now kind of keep in mind that as we move to the end of the week we're also going to be thinking about the 4th of July holiday next Tuesday. Uh, not this Tuesday. Next Tuesday, the market will be closed. So you could kind of see that possibility that Friday could be the getaway day for a lot of folks in the cities where they'll be taking off on Friday, being able to put together, you know, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday as um, a holiday. So watch that carefully. We could start to see volume shrink. Um, as we move toward the end of the week and then also remember that we are entering that corporate buyback blackout where um, we're probably going to see a little bit of shrink there as well so don't be surprised if we see some you know kind of insipid markets uh, chopping around on low volume here um, it wouldn't be too out of the question but these big data points could certainly inspire some big moves let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today and our earnings calendar really isn't going to help us out a whole lot today we have two earnings reports that are confirmed we've got ccl reporting today it looks like it's trying to pop just a little tiny bit higher been on a heavy run to the upside and then cuk cuk reporting today it looks like it's trying to tick just a little bit higher you will want to keep in mind that um, while that's happening asian markets were mostly lower overnight and european low uh, markets are a little bit lower this morning as well and again it's just those uncertainty points out there creating that in the market so how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that i truly truly appreciate it i also want to um uh, take a moment here to give a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that you'll find just below the title of the video i truly truly appreciate it now let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up and let's keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact we're going to have to do uh, your own due diligence be very very careful here in the market watch these um, gyrations very very closely um, as we enter this corporate buyback period we could end up at we could get pops and drops and kind of stay range bound and they can be really tricky to trade because it will encourage you to jump on a trade and then it just doesn't go anywhere for a couple of weeks so be kind of careful here first off let's take a look at some steel as you guys know i've been keeping an eye on on some of the commodities with with the dollar um, being quite volatile here uh, pulled a little bit of weakness coming in and then the yen made um, a, a, a pretty substantial pullback and that helped the dollar but let's keep an eye on this us steel is putting in a nice little pattern here in the chart notice we have a, a break above the 50-day moving average and that nice resting consolidation here above the 50-day moving average i really like that chart and if we could pop this um, level right up here 
or continue to call it consolidate even tighten up a little bit more i keep a u.s steel on that list for potential upside and i think you could say the same about others here in that sector clf nice little resting pullback in here could be setting up that higher low in the chart watch for that upside opportunity that begins the uptrend and just keeping in mind it's right above that 50-day moving average where we would expect to find some support and if you look real closely the shorter term moving averages have crossed up in here as well providing that bit of a moving average squeeze um, in that chart so watch that closely um, looking pretty good overall let's take a look at oil boy i tell you what we had some volatility here over the weekend in oil prices with that um, attempted coup over there in russia stirring things up and that really had some worry in oil prices this morning it looks like they're trying to um, come back just a little bit push back up we might get some stabilization here looking at xle you can see we broke above that that downtrend break and now we're testing it pretty hard here as support and it happens to come in on a pretty decent price support here in the chart as well so it might be worth keeping an eye on some of these commodities particularly if the dollar is going to continue to be weak here there might be that opportunity we could start moving up if we break this level however if we break down through here i would say um, there may be a pretty awesome short that could, could come into play and the reason that might be the case is just the weakness of the economy where folks are, are seeing issues over there in china they're starting to see the weakness in the united states um, really picking up and certainly we have um, weakness over in the uk and europe um, with recessions and things like that beginning to show up around the world then maybe we have a demand destruction starting to occur so if this breaks down through here and we rally back then i would be looking for a potential short in that chart so keep a close eye on that this could go either direction let's take a look at a few other places here in the market boy if you've been following eli Lilly, it just seems like there is nothing that eli Lilly can do to stop this upside move not that they want to stop this upside move but my goodness they're hitting on all cylinders here in eli Lilly, continuing to push higher if you look a very a strong upside trend um, any rest or pullback I think sets up an opportunity there to push that on higher let's take a look at some of the casinos out there the big casinos have been struggling here just a little bit and as you can see right here in wind casinos we've rallied back to this resistance in the chart we got this little bit of a downtrend potentially coming in here if you're looking for some short trades if the bears continue to push in the market um, wind casinos might be just the, the you know what the doctor ordered here for a little pullback um, or a continued pullback there in the market and this is what we would call a potential blue ice failure pattern where we um, hit rally back up hit that resistance of the 50-day moving average and find some sellers that could lead us down to that 200 day so keep a close eye on that you might want to take a look at some of the pay systems out there interestingly enough the pay systems trying to hold up pretty good we're rallying back to some resistances here in the chart if you look right here we've got this little upside trend we're trying to decide if we're going to break out here or not if we can break out and hold up here boy i would look for some upside in those but if we fail here again and break that little upside trend i think i would start watching for the potential short so here again we've kind of got that mix going on here in the chart mastercard is pretty much the same we're pressing a big resistance level in the chart we've knocked on the door several times just haven't been able to push through there um, this little short-term upside trend trying to show that provide that squeeze to break through that resistance keep an eye on that take a look at paypal uh, PayPal coming up out of a bottom here watching this one pretty closely I'd set a price alert up here on that chart and it was way too early and just as that stretched we had kind of a one-day pullback and tried to pop back up now if this can rest down in here just a couple three more days I might be watching for uh, that potential move now of course this buy signal right here that may be popping up this morning 
could be the one to be paying attention to. So watch that close. If that were to pop in here, notice that would follow that upside trend here in PayPal. So keep an eye on those pay systems. SQ might be another one to keep an eye on. Now this one slipped its trend. As you can see, I was watching this for that potential upside move and well, doggone it, it didn't. The selling this week kind of pulled us back, but notice those little two dojis right there on that price support. If we could find some buyers here in that sector, that might just start to pick back up there in SQ. And once again, we have that 50 day moving average just right here, uh, trying to provide support in those short term moving averages have crossed up providing a bit of that moving average squeeze in there. So if we can get a little bit of inspiration in those pay systems, that might be a place to look. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for listening and being here today. I do appreciate it. We'll see you uh, over in the trading room here in just a little bit. We'll get started right at the market open. I want to wish you all the very, very best. Take care now.